The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 526 hours of community service. That is impressive. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice that we do have a pink box to the south of us. That's an indicator of a severe thunderstorm watch box for portions of North Carolina and South Carolina. As we zoom in, we also have some orange boxes showing up too, an indicator of a severe thunderstorm warning just to the east of Lumberton. We've got more severe weather in areas close to, if not right over Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. For us here locally, no severe weather, but we certainly have some rain, even a couple of embedded thunderstorms right along the north, uh, pardon me, the Virginia, West Virginia state line uh, near Greenbrier County in West Virginia. Certainly looks like some of those cells are trying to work their way into Allegheny County. A couple of rain showers towards Franklin County and also a little bit of rain along the North Carolina, Virginia border in portions of Carroll and Grayson counties as well. All right, friends, future tracker shows that as we go into the evening, the general trend will be slowly but surely for these thunder showers to taper off. Not going going to happen at the snap of a finger, but the coverage area at 11 PM, not what it is outside right now. Do be on the lookout for some fog developing later tonight. Otherwise, tomorrow morning we're going to wake up to some leftover clouds. However, those clouds in the morning go away by the afternoon. We're going to see more sunshine, increasing sunshine as we go into the day on Thursday. Cannot rule out a straight late day shower or thunder shower late afternoon into the evening, but most of us are dry on Thursday. And as we look ahead to the future, looks like as we go into Friday, we're starting the day dry. We're ending Friday, though, with some hit or miss thunder showers. So the chance for it will increase for us during the second half of the day Friday. And then once those rain chances are here, they're going to be with us for sure on Saturday. Saturday looks very, very wet. We could even have a couple of lingering thunder showers into the day on Sunday. But Sunday looks to be the drier of the two weekend days right now. Saturday, again, I don't like to use the term washout, but it might be close to that. OK, as far as how much rain is on the way from later Friday through Sunday, I'd say anywhere from about a half an inch to two inches of rain. OK, so this is another soaking rain headed our way again, especially on Saturday. Temperatures stand for us right now. Lower 70s in South Boston at Smith Mountain Lake and also in Roanoke. 70 in Lynchburg, upper 50s in Hot Springs and also in Withville. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone. 75 in the NRV, 77 Covington Clifton Forge cooler north on 220. 79 in Roanoke, you're 80 tomorrow. Lynchburg and South Side. It's certainly going to be a warmer day for us tomorrow. For tonight, any showers or thunderstorms will eventually taper off. And then again, after midnight, fog may form lows 50s to near 60. For tomorrow, increasing sunshine. We're warmer. Highs in the 70s to near 80. All right, you want some warmth? Well, we're really going to have to wait until next week to crank up temperatures about 82 to 85 Monday through Wednesday. Again, next week looks really warm. Going to be unsettled, though, from later Friday all the way through Sunday. More sunshine in the forecast for everybody Monday and Tuesday of next week.